All right, what is my favorite wheel of 2019? Well, it's a little bit complicated. So on the list, Kingsong 16X, Kingsong 18L, in motion V10F. It is 2020, and that sounds oddly futuristic saying it out loud right now, but it's the truth. It is almost 2020, and it's funny that I find that weird considering what I'm standing in front of right now. Of course it's 2020. Look at this. Um, this is the best that the electric unicycle industry has to offer, in my opinion, as of 2019. Now, obviously, you're going to see that two of these wheels, Inmotion V10F, Kingsong 18L, are originally released back in 2018, where the Kingsong 16X was released in 2019. Right now, the 16X is getting so much love and for a great reason. It's actually one of our best sellers on Yuko right now, but the 18L and 18XL has just been updated by Kingsong with a brand new 2200 watt motor nominal that puts it on par with the 16X. Really, this has been refreshed. They're both on par. It's the cream of the crop from Kingsong, still super fresh. Um, and then the V10F from Inmotion is previously my daily driver and one of my favorite wheels of all time. So it's hard to say which one of these comes out on top, but I want to kind of break it down for you. I kind of geek out over all of the nuances that make each wheel feel a little different. And the really game changers for me are the ones that really allow my leg to lock in. So it feels really comfortable and really stable at the same time. I don't want to fight the wheel. I want it to kind of just meld with me. So um, I have a lot to say about ergonomics. Uh, I know you guys have heard me talk a little bit about it in previous videos. When I was comparing the 16 inch wheels, well, you know, 16X is back in the discussion again on this one, but now, I think the biggest surprise for me for 2019 is that my favorite wheel this year is a wheel from 2018. It's actually the Kingsung 18L. Alright, so why do I love the 18L so much? Well, you know, you might think that's a wheel from last year. Is it really going to hold up to the 16X? Um, my answer is pretty easy, yes. And this is actually one reason I wanted to do a video about the 18L as well. Not only is it my favorite, it's just been recently updated. So it's a new motor. It's really super quiet. Uh, it responds really well. It's powerful. It feels nice and smooth. Not only is the motor response and performance really great, but it's also a great cruiser because of the larger wheel. In terms of riding in the city, that's also one of the best things about the 18L, and actually all three of the wheels that I've picked, uh, is that they fit into a practical commuting lifestyle really, really well. What I think takes the 18L above the others um, in this category as well is just that you get the bigger wheel. The bigger wheel does make a difference for unexpected um, holes in the road, bumps in the road, a little bit more security, a little bit smoother ride. You know, it's just like a premium cruiser that is compact enough to stay with you and not be a nuisance around other people or in mass transit. Now, riding these wheels in real life, it's really uh, a matter of convenience when you're talking about electric unicycles. It's ability and convenience. So what can you do with it? How confidently can you navigate the situations you find yourself in? And then how well can you deal with the wheel when you're not riding it? That's actually a big consideration too. So all of these wheels are totally portable in a normal commuting and city living situation, which is what I'm used to. So 
I put all these firmly in that category. They're all portable enough. None of these wheels fit in my gym locker, unfortunately, so I'm still rocking my V8 when I'm going to the gym. So that's a little sad, but there's really not much you can do about that. If you like an 18 inch wheel, it's not gonna fit in the locker. But pretty much everywhere else, like a restaurant, convenience store, wheeling it around, wherever I'm going, I don't really think about it. I can bring any of these wheels with me. Um, the 16X is noticeably a little bit wider when I'm wheeling it around tight locations. I can feel it getting a little bit closer, kind of nicking the shelves more because I'm used to thinner wheels, but all of them will do a great job in any of these situations. It's easy to live with all of these. Now, in terms of performance, what gets me really excited about King Song's offerings is it lets you go a little bit faster than in motion. So I know that's an important consideration for some people. And for me, I'm usually around 20 miles an hour anyway. I'm not really punching it that fast, but sometimes if I'm on the street, it actually makes me feel a little bit safer to ride closer to the speed the traffic is moving. And that's true on a lot of traffic situations. You don't wanna be the one person that is the outlier. You don't wanna provide friction in the flow of movement. So, you know, if you're moving dramatically slower and you're in the lane of traffic, you gotta really think about how safe that might be. So, um, to me, I feel safe on all three of these, which I put them up here, but this one is a little bit slower. The v doesn't quite match the top speed of these, but I don't feel it's deficient. So that's why I consider it still one of my favorite wheels as of 2019. But, you know, if I'm really looking at which one is the all around solution that I'm feeling like does all of it for me, these two are gonna let me do a little bit more and not be dramatically bigger. And in fact, when comparing the 18L versus the V10F, the cool thing is that I found is that the 18L, it's really about the same size overall. I mean, look at them. They're, they're about the same size, but you get a bigger wheel diameter. I've never ridden a wheel that felt more stable to me than the 18L. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but with this one, I feel like I don't have to try. I feel like I can just push it and it feels great, it feels stable. I love how the firmware feels when I'm going fast. It still feels like I've really got full control over it and I've got my legs locked in. Uh, so I just overall feel safer on streets and at higher speeds on the 18 l So that's it. Get out there, enjoy the holidays, ride safe, travel safe. I will see you in 2020.